Hey, welcome back. I'm Princess of 83, and I am back with a hi. Pocahontas Get Ready With Me. My daughter wants to say hi. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to show her pee -days. My pee -days. She wants to show y'all her her um, Halloween pee yeah. day dress. So, I'm getting ready yeah. to go out to a Halloween costume party. I'm so excited because this is the first time that I've ever been to an adult Halloween costume party. So, this is pretty much last minute, this costume. My costume that I always do themed with my daughter is supposed to come in the mail Tuesday. But this is last minute. I decided to be Pocahontas. So, yeah, my husband's family invited us to a um, name, Halloween party, and huh? I decided to go as Pocahontas. So, yeah, um, Mama. so I'm going to put her right here so I can use her as inspiration. So, I have Hocus Pocus playing in the background. I hope it's not a distraction, but um, I'm going to... Um, you're welcome. I'm I'm going to um do a voiceover for the rest. So I'm showing you a brown lip liner. Um I don't have a brown eye um brow pencil, so I'm just showing you how Pocahontas had brown eyebrows and long black hair. So I found a old brown lip liner I had so I decided to use that to make my brows brown and I'm just gonna use this little pocket mirror so I can see what I'm doing better I was just cleaning it off so yeah I'm starting to line my brows with the lip liner and I'm gonna make my Pocahontas brown eyebrows And I'm starting to make the other brow brown. It actually worked worked out pretty nicely. You'll see later I'm gonna put some brown eyeshadow over top. So here I'm gonna use this elf, this little elf palette I have. And I'm gonna use that dark brown color. And I'm just going to go over the lip liner. That helped out a little. But I just, I just tried to make my brows as brown as I could. And I'm going to use my Machinist NYX palette from my cousin. She gave this to me at a party I went to. And it's called Grind. And they have really nice colors in here. Um, the palette is pretty much warm tones with a few shimmery colors. Um, they don't, they didn't, NYX didn't name these pigments, so I am just going to start off by using number 11, as I pointed to, and I'm going to just put that all through my crease. I wanted to keep this look very pretty much natural so I use natural tones because Pocahontas was a Native American so her makeup you know shouldn't look very fancy <laughs> so I'm using number 12 um, it looks like a it's kind of like a corally it's it has sparkles in it a metallic -y color I'm just gonna put that on my lid 
and just yeah just keeping the look very very minimalist with using the NYX this really this palette really came in handy I'm so happy my cousin gave that to me this was perfect for the Pocahontas makeup look and I'm just gonna use the Maybelline um, black is black mascara that's my favorite mascara I'm gonna have all the products I'm gonna try to link them all down below but I'm gonna use that to put on my lashes before I put on the falsies Desiree really kept me entertained <laughs> while I was doing my makeup and now I'm just putting the glue on my lashes I tried to find the most natural lashes I owned I think they were the um, kiss lashes I'll try to link them below And I'm just showing you my makeup. I did go back to the NYX palette and I'm using number eight. It's like a really dark brown. I wanted to um, make my brows look more brown. I just try my best to make them look brown. But when you when you'll see I have the Pocahontas hair on it they do um, start to look more brown because the hair is so black and I'm using my Pond's wrinkle cream because I wanted to put my blush on but my face was a little dry so I put some of that cream on first I do like that cream it smells really fresh. And I think I got it from Walmart for like two bucks. And I'm gonna use this angle brush I got from one of my Ipsy bags. And I'm gonna use the NARS Orgasm blush because you'll see um, if you Google images of Pocahontas she has blush well the doll did anyway <laughs> so I made my cheeks look pink like hers Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to use one of the Cali lip kits. Um, I believe it's called True Brown. And I'm going to layer that on first. And then I decide to use a um, NYX suede. Um, I can't remember if it was a lip gloss. I'll link it below. Oh, it's a liquid, um, liquid suede. So it is a liquid lip lipstick so I, I was just trying to make my lips look like they had color to them but very very natural and I decided to put this pink lip gloss over it I think I got that from Beautycon um, it was called nude beach I was just trying to pinken them up a little bit I think the doll had like kind of like a peachy color but I just decided to go with that natural looking lip so I'm going to show you my makeup and it, it looks very natural you know warm tone colors so I have my Pocahontas, I have my Pocahontas hair on and Desi wants to play in it <laughs> So I had this suede necklace with a turquoise um, jewel piece. I'm not. Sh I do not remember at all. I'm not sure where I got that from. But all I'm doing is um, I'm gonna bobby pin it in my hair. I know Pocahontas. I don't believe she had 
this on the um doll but i just wanted to add that to my look so i pinned that on just just to feel more like a princess I do have Pawnee blood in me, and um, I really want to do more research about it. I love that I have Native American blood. So yeah, I think it looks nice. And I have this um, turquoise feathered um, bead necklace I thought would be perfect for um, a, a, like an inspiration to her necklace um, the doll had a real sparkly um, teal necklace on so this this looked more realistic so yeah I thought that would look really nice and she had a tattoo on her right arm so what I did was mix some of my daughter's paint. I mixed yellow, red, and I believe brown to make the color of the tattoo. And you know what? This is the wrong arm. Oh, <laughs> oh what's, the, what's the difference? Because she has a paint on her right arm. I don't think that. It's it matters. It's Pocahontas. It matters. Don't it, Darius? It but matters. Because it's Pocahontas. I thought that was really funny <laughs> I was like no it has to be right so he had to switch arms and yeah he was kind enough to paint the tattoo on me because I definitely could not have done it without his help Excuse my family if you hear them in the background. I really just want to get this video up in case someone might want to be Pocahontas for Halloween. So yeah, he really he did a really good job painting that on my arm So here's the finished look, my makeup, my headpiece and necklace, my dress is from Forever 21, I just rolled the sleeves up, my purse, I believe I got that from Ross a really, really long time ago, and I have on my Minnetonka suede boots, I love these boots. And that's my Pocahontas Halloween inspired look. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween. Take care.